Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Canadian flag as a mini mural. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do their flags. Doing the mini mural, you don't actually get much definition in the picture, but um, as a little drinks coaster or something like that, it's absolutely perfect. So we'll get started. Um, we're double banding. Our loom is going to be in a standard configuration, which means all the columns are the same height. The open part of the peg is facing towards you, or the part with the arrow is facing towards you. We're going to start by putting two red here. Okay, this will go from column three to column, this is column three, to column four, which is over here, which we, we don't actually have yet. Okay, um, now my pattern for this is actually on uh, braceletbook.com it's one that I made you're welcome to use it so let's leave those two there and we're going to put two red from here to here and two whoopsie red from here to here so this is our first and our second this will be our third column and we have one more column of red to do now for these we're going all the way down with red bands again double banding so all the way down I'm sorry about my uh, voice or sounding hoarse I uh, was in surgery yesterday which is why the tutorials have a bit been a bit light And uh, last two here, let's do the next two columns. I think after this we will do, um, I believe there is, we can do an English flag. Now the, the first one I did, the Union Jack, was with two looms. We've, I've been asked a lot to do it on a single loom, so that will be what we will do next. One thing I should say is I really do encourage you to make your own, find your own patterns. Braceletbook.com allows you to take a picture and convert it into a file, yeah, the graphic file. There's also Sketchbook X, I believe, which is another app for your phone that can do the same. It can turn your pictures into graphs so that you can um, reconstruct that on your loom. Um, yourselves and so once you learn the technique really the world is your oyster as to what picture you decide to do or there's a variety of different pictures on braceletbook.com um, how to understand it. it it's a good idea to sign in to register with them because that opens up all the different um, parts where you can make your own uh, designs Put our last two here. Now I'm going to put two red going from column three, which will go to column four, and I'm going to put another, oopsie, two red from here to here, and if I can pick them up, two from here to here, and I'm going to put an end cap on here, single band, wrap it once and twice, and that's going to be where I start. We're also going to put crossover bands over. Um, you can use clear, you can use um, coloured bands, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use coloured bands. I'm only going to be stretching between four at any given time, four or five anyway. So um, I'm just going to use the predominant colour of the column. So now we're going to loop up, go past that end cap and grab those two top red bands and they loop to the right like that and then the next two go to the right and we can quite happily loop those up no problem without a worry. We're going to loop up the first two columns, column one and two. Make sure that everything stays on your loom, push it down 
push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook you uh, you want those to stay and not actually be incorporated in the loop So yes, as I was saying, the uh, the bigger the mural, the more definition you can get. I mean, some of them, um, Dwayne has done the most spectacular uh, murals, and and so has Crystal uh, Latourneau. They are just, I mean, the the definition and and everything is just stunning. Now from here, we're going to dig down and grab that band and move it over to here. Now we can take this column off. Okay, this first column comes off. Protect column two with your finger. Okay, that has to stay there. Okay, let's grab our base removal tool and we'll move our mini base plates one forward like that and the same and now we can move this first column of pegs up and across and it becomes column number four now this was one this is two so this is our second column of red this is our third column of red we need four columns of red so I'm going to put another two red here okay because that needs to go across so that they have so we have four columns of red all right next all we do again is go down with red bands to the end of our loom move your crossover band, the, I'm sorry crossover bands, the um, bands for the end have to go over here but remember first of all put another set there to go to the next column and then we transfer that to there. Move these across. Now as I said I'm using red, I didn't have my clear ones out I'm just going to use the predominant colour of what happens to be uh, on the flag at the time. I'm going to dig down here and grab the two top bands that I find, red, and move them across to the right. And then I can loop up my middle column. When we get to here, we're going to dig down, find the two bottom red bands, and loop them to the side. Then we can take this column off, the first column. Please make sure everything is pushed down on column number two. everything down. Use your base removal tool. We're going to take the big base plate off this time and budge that across. Take your pegs from the first column. This now becomes five.
So now we need to place two white ones here, all right, because we'll, we'll be moving into white afterwards. This goes across, okay. We're on our fourth, uh, are we on our fourth? Let's count. One, two, three, yes, fourth, goodness gracious. Let's lay our bands. Now we're going to put white, a pair of white here to go through to column five, like that. Let's pull these across. And we can start Grabbing the two top red and moving them across. Try not to get them too twisted. And now we find the bottom two red and loop up. Make sure you do not include the crossover band. That needs to be pushed back with the back of your hook. them to the right. We're now ready to take this column off. Make sure you push everything down. Use our base plate removal tool. move our column. Now the next one from this is going to be white as well so take two white and place them on that peg ready for when we need them. Let's grab these two that are sitting here doing nothing and place them on our loom. Now this time we're going to do a full column of white We're still double banding. Oops. Going to put another pair of white on the end of this last end cap of this last peg here and move our white bands here over like that. Okay, now I've gone over four with these crossover bands. I am moving to clear, I found mine, and I'm just going to place new crossover bands on these. So usually you go between four to five to six, you know, four, five or six pegs at a time. Um, I've even done three. If I do two, I tend to take a single band and wrap it on itself, loop it on itself. But uh, stretching between four and five is fine. Six, I would say, is maximum. All right, now let's start looping. Grab the two top white and they go across to the right and then we loop up. 
you have two crossover bands to push back now so push those back This column off make sure we don't lose that one there we go I nearly lost him there's me telling you to push everything down and I hadn't on that one all right base tool removal Let's budge this big one across this time. And move our pegs. The next column is going to be white as well. So let's start with our two white on the end. And then move our two white over like that. Now we start with some white. So we do one two, three, four, five pair of white. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we do a pair of red. And then it's white down to the bottom again. And this is the start of our little maple leaf. The next column across is going to be white, so we'll take two white, place them on the end there, grab these two white and move across drag your crossover bands over and then we will dig down and find those top two white loop them to the right and then loop up our white bands You're not getting away from me that easy, matey. Dig down, find the two white bands, and loop to the right. Take this column off our loom. of pegs on. So the next one will have white as well. Grab the two that were there, place those over. We're going to go down again five pair. So one, two, three, four, five, now we do two pair of red. I'll stop throwing them at myself. One and two. Then we go white to the bottom.
get too ready to go to the next one and move these ones across like so move your crossover bands over and we can start looping up grab the two white move them across dig down and we loop up to the right. And take this one off the loom. And move the big base plate. Move your pegs. Now, in this one, again, you need two white. Move your white across that we're doing nothing. If I can get my hook through them. There we go, there's one. Where's the other one? Come here, Tricky. There we go. So put those both on there. We're doing three pair of white. So one, two, and three. And now we're doing four pair of red. One, two. and four and then white to the bottom two white on that bottom peg and move those two white Cross. Hey, get down there. They have to stay underneath our bands. Okay. Let's dig down. And, oh, I'm sorry. Before, well, we can do that. Dig down, find those two white, and drag them across like that. Now we do our crossover bands. This is going to be the last set that I have for this set of crossover bands. We'll put new ones on for the next column. Dig down, find the two bottom white and loop up. Please remember if I'm going too fast for you, pause me and then catch up when you've looped up. It isn't a race. You should have these little teardrop shapes. You can tell the difference with something that's been looped in and something that hasn't. If you've looped it in, it forms a little teardrop like that. Dig down, find the two bottom white bands and they get looped to the side, to the right. Then you can take this first column off your loom. Make sure you keep that second column in place. Oops. Okay, turn over. We're doing the mini base plates this time. We're still using two of the white bands to budge over 
and we're going to come down two pair oh I'm sorry let's move this one across first getting ahead of myself budge those ones across now we do one pair of white and two pair of white and then we have one two three four five six seven eight I think let's try so one two three four Two pair of white again. One, two, move. Oh, let's put two new ones on. And pull that across to there. Now, as I mentioned, we're putting fresh crossover bands on. So take a single. I'm using, again, the clear. And budge those across like that. down, find those top white bands and they get looped to the right and then we go up and then we drop a band <laughs> come back here you slippery little sucker there we go goodness gracious sliding off the uh, jelly of the uh, clear band side push everything down and then we take this off base plates Move your pegs. Still going on to white for our next one. So put the white there. And then these white we pop here. We're doing three pair of white. And then we're doing red and we're doing four pair then white to the bottom two pair of white for the bottom move these ones over drag your crossover bands and we can loop up grab those two top ones they go to the side And 
down, find those two bottom and loop to the side. If things are stuck, move your hook around the outside of your bands and that helps loosen it. Let's take this off and remember please keep this on. plates and move our column. We're still moving a forward to white and grab these white and pop them there. Now this time we're doing, I think it's five pair. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then two pair of red. One, two and white to the bottom. Put your two there. Grab these, there we go. Move your crossover bands over. Push everything down. And let's loop to bottom, go to the right. Then we loop up. Turn your boom upside down, take your pegs off, move them forward, and just count something, one, two, three, four, and your one. I think we can put new crossover, how many crossovers have we done for this particular one? One, two, three, four. Yes, we can put new crossovers here. We're going to put white to follow forward with. And do five pair. one pair of red and then white to the bottom it's 
so we'll continue doing our white to the bottom and unfortunately my uh, phone had run out of space which is why we had that break I'm going to put two here for the next one I haven't put two here for the next one. Let's do that quickly. Lift that up. And now we'll put two here. I had to go a step backwards because I had continued forward without realising that my phone had stopped as it had run out of batteries. So not batteries, uh, space. So we have this like that. We need to drag these crossover bands over. This is the last time that we will use these crossover bands. We will use new ones for the next bit. So drag these across. And let's loop up. So dig down, find the top white two and drag to the side here. Loop them up. And we loop this up. Make sure you push that crossover band back. Get up to here. Now, again, I did fancy footwork as I was replacing everything. Pop that there and that there. Dig down for the last two. Oh, actually, we don't need to. We're taking this off. So let's just take this off. I've confused myself because I had to undo a whole lot because I realised you weren't actually with me. I was busily looming by myself. Okay, make sure everything is staying on the pegs. Remove our base plates and budge them forward. My little girl has been busy with apps and putting them on my phone without telling me. There we go. Pop that forward. Now we're going to, this will be a whole column of white, but our lead is going to be red. So put two red there doing nothing and pop those white there and let's do white all the way down And again, we're going to put red as our lead for the next one. So pop that there, like that. I said we were going to use new crossover bands, and I think that's a very good idea. I'm just going to loop this up here. Uh, yes, I will pop that there. There we go. Now, new crossover bands, single clear, and you just stretch them between column two and three. Like so. Dig down, grab the two white bands and loop them to the side. And then we can loop up. You have two crossover bands that you have to push your hook back with to expose those bottom two white bands.
Okay. Um, let's take this off the loom. Make sure that this second column is safe. I'm not going to unravel because trust me I've just done it it's a pain going backwards and having to salvage work there we go push everything down we now have four columns of just pure red to do so turn over move your big base plate and your pegs Two red for the lead and grab the two red that were doing nothing and pop them on that peg and we just do red all the way down and we're still double banding so it's two two red two red bands all the way down going to put two red as the lead for the next column here so pop those there and I'll move these two red over like that so they're sitting there ready we're going to drag our crossover bands over and we can loop up grab the two red loop them to the right and then we do the whites oh, get off your middle column push everything down the mini base plates Let's have two red leads. Pick up the other reds. Oops, from the outside, not the inside gate. There we go. And we do red all the way down. Two red for the lead for the next column and pick these up. Dig down. Oh, let's do our crossover band, silly me. Dig down, grab the two top red and loop them to the right. Then we just loop all the way to the top of our loom dig down find the 
goes to red. If it's tight, just wiggle your hook around the outside of that peg. And let's take this off the loom. Again, protecting. Two red for the lead. Now this is one, two, and this will be three. So this is the last time we have to do lead ones. All the way down with red. for the lead, for our last lead there, grab these ones and pull them over grab the two top red and they loop to the right and then we loop the rest of them all the way up to the top of the loom. side there. Grab our little base plates, move them forward. those lead ones and pop them on the peg and now we go all the way down with red to the bottom of the loom. Move those lead ones across, drag our crossover bands over for the last time. And loop these to the right. You can actually loop both columns at the same time now as it's the uh, end.
these two. Now we're going to use two red bands to tie off with, so push your hook down the middle of this peg here, grab all those bands, make sure those bands are all through, and put the two red bands on the end of your hook and drag them back up through that peg. Oh, I only got one, let's try that again. I tend to twist my hook so the back side of it goes against those bands so I don't snag anything. Take the two closest to you up, over and off and pull into a slip knot. We are ready to take this off our loom. Pull it into shape. And I like to just hide these. I get my hook and I go I get a small one. Oopsie. I just go between these parts here in the middle. Grab those two tie-off bands and drag them back. It can take a bit of a bit of trial and error. <laughs> if I can even get my hook free, it would be nice, wouldn't it? There we go, there's one. Where's the other one? There it is. Two. And then just stretch it back up into shape. So there we have a uh, Canadian flag it this way. Perfect as a coaster, a drink mat um, or, or anything really. I hope you enjoy making it. Take care.